thought we're getting towards the end of the political year. The last major act of my EFO is done. Where does the polling put us at? On the so-called summer reset, so much spoken about what actually needs to happen. Joining me live is Australian Financial Review political editor Philip Curry. Thanks for your time as ever. Um, a few different polls out there. Um, fit, um, we actually got news poll today suggesting Labor sneak back into the lead. Ipsos poll in your paper has it back 50-50, but it's close, isn't it? Yeah. Everyone agrees it's got a lot closer over the past few months. Yeah. And Labor's primary is down as well. And if there were an election today, there'd be a strong chance Labor's in minority, yeah. Yeah. which I guess isn't a shock from the position they're in, but still a no, bit of reality no. check from mid June. Yeah. yeah, look, it, it, yeah, ours is a freshwater poll, not a... Um, oh, apologies. <laughs> um, yeah, look, we had them at 50-50 on the two-party. News poll had Labor back 52-48, so sort of margin of error stuff, but the construction you put on it is relative to your last poll. Um, so we had them definitely sliding a little bit further down the, down the chain since September. We're going to do them every three months. But I think, unarguably, Tom, if you look at where the government was this time last year going into Christmas, they were in a much better position on a number of fronts. I mean, in our poll, we had them at 54% two-party vote going to last Christmas. Now, whether it's 52 or 50, that's, you know, slide. Their primary vote has really, really, really fallen since then. Yeah. Um, it's now below where it was at the last election. Um, but the big falls are in the Prime Minister's approval ratings and his preferred Prime Minister. Yeah. And we looked into the issues as well. Um, you know, they've lost... They had a, they've lost their lead as economic managers. They've lost their lead on the co on managing the cost of living. All those things have just ravaged them over the last year yeah. and the voice and stuff like that. So I think, yeah, the, the safe takeout from whatever poll you read today is they're in a much worse spot now than they were 12 months ago. And that, that sets up a challenge for the next year being the election year. The interesting thing about Anthony Albanese is mm. he came to that election mm. quite unpopular for an mm. opposition leader. I mean, we always... Well, unknown, and Dutton and Dutton. unknown, yeah. Unknown, but yeah, the, I mean, yeah, uh, yeah. looking at the the polling on him, for example, on mm. news poll, he was minus eighteen, minus eleven, minus five yeah, in yeah. the final month. I mean, mm. that's not popular. No. Um, well, so not... popularity for him isn't intrinsically important. Maybe like no, but know, but these levels still have to be a concern when you're so high. We knew it would come yeah. down. Well, we you don't want to be negative. Yeah. Well, the freshwater poll had his um, his preferred. Prime Minister lead over Peter Dutton, closing from 26 points to four in a year. Yeah. And he's now got a higher net negative in his approval than Dutton has now, minus five to minus two. So I think what happened after the election, you know, people forget we voted... The country voted out Scott Morrison in the last election. They didn't necessarily vote in Labor. They only got a 32.6% primary yep. vote. And there's this sort of thing overtook everyone after the election. Oh, Labor's really popular. Albanese was really popular. They, they weren't. They they fell across the line. Their primary dropped from 2019 yeah. to 2022. Yeah. So, so, but then what happened? There was a burst in popularity because they started, they governed very well in their first, you know, eight, eight months or two to a year. They did kept their promises. They, you know, they were responsible. There was a stability, and and they they, they did well out of that, and deservedly so. But then they had a, t a bad year, you know. They got to the Aston by-election, which they won against the odds, and that was because by people still weren't blaming them for the cost of living. But as the Labor hierarchy said, that will change, and it did change. Uh, the cost of living is now just really annoying and won't go away, and people are getting angry at the government over it and the prime minister. Didn't do well out of the voice. He went overseas too much. All those sorts of things have just built. And now they're in a, I wouldn't say dire, but in a challenging position. You know, they've got a year, a year and a bit to turn it around and they, they, they could well do. I mean, this isn't translating into great gouts of support for the opposition, although the, the primary vote in the poll today was pretty good, 39 yeah. now. So, so, um, this is, mm. so when we talk, I mean, it's probably the most spoken about mm. phrase at this time of year now, the summer reset. Yeah. And what are you meant to do there? Uh, because the issue with I cost was... of living is huge, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's Over what summer, it's... things are going to still be expensive. There's nothing new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't look, done anything look, new look. in my EFO. So summer's they... a... well, can they... do they need to do well, something? Well, it was interesting. I, I heard the Prime Minister on radio this morning and it was interesting because Sabra Lane, the ABC, asked him about two or three times. She said, you've lost your mojo. What are you going to do to put it back? And not once he disputed he'd lost his mojo. He said, well, what I'll do is a blah, blah, blah. Our plan, I heard a lot. Well, yeah, there's just a reading that list, which is yeah. sort of like, like a dot point thing, like a speaking, what do they call them, speaking points or whatever they issue from yeah. the office. Didn't sound that convincing. But what I found even more interesting was he didn't dispute the premise of the question that he'd yeah. lost his mojo. He said, well, Sabra, what I'll do is 
X, Y and Z. So um, I just think he's off his game at the moment and, mm. and he needs to get on his game. The, the, the trouble for, and this used to happen a lot with the Howard government, a lot of governments, people go away over summer, talk amongst family and friends and come back and the polls are often worse <laughs> than they were yeah. for, for the incumbent than they were going that's into the... That's the worry because the, mm. things are still ticking yeah. up. But look, they've got another budget, Tom, in May, in May and I think it's now beyond doubt as the Prime Minister and the Treasurer have now said they'll do stuff on cost of living, more power price relief, things like that. And as Jim Chalmers said uh, last week in an interview with us, look, it's just going to stay rough for a while, but, ho you know, hopefully for Labor... Time it. Time inflation it. moderates, the, you know, the RBA starts cutting rates. And once you look at the polls in WA at the moment, it's a lot different to the rest of the country. That's because they're not doing it so hard over there because things are a lot better. And if all the economic indicators start pointing in the right direction, you know, it's, it's, it's all going to be in the timing the next election.